Hi traders, at the end of a very volatile week, the S&P 500 ended near zero, but the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq declined slightly. This week is expected to be very volatile too. We have Apple quarterly reports after Tuesday's closing bell, the Fed interest announcement on Wednesday, and the April employment report on Friday. The quarterly earnings report published so far showed excellent results, but the response was sales. This happened last week to Microsoft, Amazon, and Intel. And the big question is whether it's going to happen to Apple this week too. Well, I believe that the response to Apple's report is expected to indicate the market's direction this week. Let's have a technical view of the market. When I look at the S&P 500, the market is going sideways. We have no trend. However, if you look back, the overall trend is up. So usually when the market will move out of this consolidation, it's more likely to continue with the trend. And again, a very technical aspect, but very, very hard to predict. I want to mention again the two lines that I discussed uh, in the past two weeks, the support line at 2600 at the S&P 500 and the resistance line at 2700. So we are moving, we just moved last week in between those lines and again a move out of these lines down or up will probably show us the continuation of the recent trend. Let's have a look at my last week picks. Last week I had two picks, OKTA long, however, OKTA, although reaching my first target, which is 3%, did that with a gap. I never chase stocks up, so OKTA, in my opinion, was not a trade that you should have taken. My second pick, HRTX, didn't do well, it did trigger, however, again, the market is very volatile recently, so it is very, very hard to predict market direction. Therefore, if you take a trade, any trade, any swing trade, I would suggest lower your size in this time until the market uh, at least shows us some kind of direction. Let's have two picks for this one. My first pick for the week is Nike Long, over $70.25. Very, very nice technical formation for a breakout. And again, Nike does not go with the market currently. If the market is going to continue higher, of course, that will help Nike too. My second pick for the week is Yumbrands. YUM long over $87.50. Again, a very, very nice technical formation for a breakout. Uh, YUM is a fast food giant, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pizza Hut, uh, Taco Bell. Uh, and again, it looks great. And if the market will decide to move higher, that is, of course, going to be very, very helpful. I wish you a great trading week and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders Free Trading Challenge. If you succeed, you will receive free trading education and access to a $14,000 funded trading account that will allow you to trade from home and keep 70% of your profits. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.